Yeah, good morning. Uh, uh, Afghanistan. Afghanistan are not willing uh, to fight for their own freedom. Uh, they rather have other people come to their country, other foreign country come over and fight a war for them in their country. And this is, they're lucky enough to have a fool, to have a, a dumbass countries like the United States, other European countries willing to come over and fight the war for, for them, for Afghanistan, for Iraq, and for those Middle Eastern countries that are not willing. They're not willing to fight for their own war. But they're, they're willing to collect money in the name of fighting for fighting. But the minute the Western countries leave, they will immediately give up and surrender to, the, to their enemy, immediately. This is a country collection of cowards, people who have no values, no love for their countries, no love for independence, and definitely no understanding or even idea of having keeping their sovereignty intact. The minute the Western society leave, they all surrender. The military over three hundred thousand give up. The, give up the whole country. They give up the entire country without a fight. The Prime Minister of Afghanistan, the police, everybody in power, immediately after five days of the U.S. leaving the country, surrender to their enemy. This is should tell you, when it comes to Middle East, if without any Western power helping them, these people will be living in the cave like they used to be. They are incapable of, will never be able to fight a military, any military power off without the help of the Western society, either be America or the other Western society. They are live off of the deceptions deception deceiving the West society and collecting money from them pretending to be having desire for freedom having desire for independent to be independent nations to protect their own sovereignty their own country they have no desire these people are clowned 300,000 military give up without a fight. They have all kind of weapons to fight, but they, they, they decided that they're, they're a bunch of cowards and desi decided not to fight. The, the minute the Western society, the American military left, they all cower, they all shitting on their pen in, in, in fear, surrender to the enemy, surrender to the Taliban, surrender to the terrorists. And most of those who, are, who were in power, uh, the, the prime ministers, they all flee the country. This is a, exactly a tip what it is. The Middle East, the entire Middle East, this is a perfect example of what the entire, uh, entire Middle East is actually consists of. If the Western society leave, leave the Middle East today, I guarantee you they will be de denigrated into a chaos. There will be, the society will not progress. The society will go back to living as a peasants. Have there's people, these places have n nothing going for them in the entire Middle East. The only thing that's going for these places is oil. Without the oil, these people have no intellect. They, they haven't created any viable 
defense for their own for their country none of them do the only defense that they have is the, the defense provided by the western society they don't even use that the western the west are the one the western society the kuffar is who is protecting providing securities and militaries for these people since uh, subo, since Since World War I, even before that, every Middle East, if you look at right now, every Middle East is supported militarily. Their country is protected by the Western society in one way or the other. The militaries, the police, the prime ministers, they're all pretending, pretending and collecting money in deceptions from the Western society, pretending to love freedom pretending to care for their countries, pretending to engage in diplomatic and giving uh, fabricated and f uh, fake concern concerning, make themselves, uh, make the Western society anyway feel as if they are have some concern for human rights. These people don't care about human rights. They don't care about abuses on their people. They don't care if their people live or die. They don't care if their society progressed or not. They don't care about the mistreatment of women. They don't care about what happened to young girls. They don't care. The only reason why they are pounding on the music, clowning the, the West, sympathy. They're looking for the Western sympathy because the West are, the Western society also a collection of cowards, especially the, the journalist. The journalist is telling these by example. It's, it's, it's telling this uh, Middle Eastern people that all you have to do is play race card, play the saying that uh, the West have to help us, and this is what you need to do: jump in the front of a running airplane. And as if you can show that you've been. Take, take a risk of jumping off the airplane the sympathy of the US claim that the woman that to, to draw a sympathy to the from the US to get a help to get free money to come to the United States all you have to do is jump in the front of a moving airplane or claim the woman is being killed woman is being uh, raped as if the woman have independent society if different uh, that, uh, that is different from society of cowards that are collectively abandoned in a, in a, in a, in, a, in the middle east it's shameful to to have these resources money is wasted on these people over 2 trillion dollar is wasted on these societies that are have uh, the West society have nothing in return? What are they getting for that money? Two trillion dollar. What exactly are they getting? These people are have n having nothing to contribute to society at large. Let's watch the video. This is collection of cowards giving up, surrendering to their enemy, and then want to come to the Kufar country, come to the country that they call a debt to America that to freedom and now they want to clench or hang on to the American airline American Air Force uh, helicopters they want to hang on to this and try to show they're not then they know this is not it's not possible for for them to get on the airplane when the airplane is running they want to stop the airplane they want to they know the media is recording they want to sympathy they don't care about dying because this is all they know not only this is all they know this is what they love to do they love to die because dying in in their perception will get them to heaven after they die dying is what they want if they are killed if they're killed by kufar that means if they're killed by non-believers they will go to heaven guaranteed this is what these people believe so jumping in the front of airplane 
getting killed, getting run over and killed uh, by a kuffar, it's the best thing they could ever that could ever happen to them. Not not winning lottery, not working hard, not making something good of themselves, jumping in the front of a traffic, getting run over by a kuffar or by an unbeliever will will guarantee them a heaven after they die. This is one prime reason why they're not they don't worry about getting killed or getting injured. Because even those who don't die and get injured will be looked upon as a brave or as a, a, a same treatment as the U.S. veteran receive in America, where they they are looked at as if they are a hero, the hero for their countries. And look at these people now. trying to keep them away from the airport but of course they don't want to stay away from the airport So this is what what the, what happened exactly. Afghanistan political political leader give up, surrender to the enemy. They give up on their country. Almost 40 million people, on 40 million population, the politician give up on their country, and either surrender to their enemy, or flee the country. Left left the country. Afghanistan military also surrender to the enemy. They didn't uh, some time without even firing a shot. The the Middle Eastern society depend entirely. They depend entirely on the Western society for defense, for the military defense to defend their country. They don't want to fight. They want other people to fight for their freedom in their own country. And then when they come to the Western society. They're pumping, pumping their chest, pretending to be brave, and and have the audacity to to tell people, American uh, society or any other society, what it what it what it feels like to fight for freedom, when they have never fought for freedom in in their own country. Bunch of, any 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 Middle Eastern people, any Arab society that lives in in the West. That's, that's how they come to America. They run away from their own, their own country as a coward, give up, surrender to their enemy, and, and not even willing to fight for their families, for their girls, for their women, for their country, for their identity, for their religion. Collection of cowards. And then now they come to America and, and, and try to tell people here in America and, and they, how to live as a civilized society when they have no idea what civilized society is they live in under protections of 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 the western society and no 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 other country should fight for for your freedom why would any country will go over to other countries and fight the war the war for them when they when the military of afghanistan are not willing to fight for their own freedom. Unbelievable.